One morning, I was working on my game, minding my own goddamn business, and then... Hey, Bushko, I thought you were making an FPS game, not an FPS game. Pfft, so this guy clearly has no idea what he's talking about, because my game is, uh... It's, uh, it's not very good. But don't you worry, because I'm going to prove this guy wrong, and by the end of the video, he's going to be really embarrassed. In case you live under a rock or in a pineapple under the sea, my game is, um, hippity hoppity, your body's now my property, because that's what computer viruses do, and you play as one. And I know what you're thinking, was it always this well-designed, super fun, beautiful, polished, and... Nope. No, it wasn't. So let's go back three months to watch me slowly lose my mind. Right now, my game lacks game and play, both of which is kind of important when it comes to gameplay, so let's work on that. I don't know about you, but my favorite part about games is, uh, um, fun. And lucky for me, fun is... Oh, really? Wow. Lucky for me, though, enjoyment is, uh, fun? Thanks, Google. Eh, you know what, on second thought, what kind of loser even puts fun in their game in 2023, so I'm just gonna move on to graphics, which should be pretty simple. Even the last time I showed my game, it looked like the underside of a car. I literally don't know how else to explain it, uh, prove me wrong. Thankfully, I am somewhat of a 3D artist myself, so this should be a pretty easy fix. In case you didn't know, making assets is slow, like slower than a, a, a snail, which becomes a problem when you realize I have no f***ing idea of what style I want for my game. I've had suggestions to do low poly or cell shade or retro or low poly cell shaded retro or retro shaded low cell what anyway those are too easy and if there's one thing you need to know about me is that i'm a f***ing idiot so i took one look at alien isolation and i decided to make that my whole game's personality which fun fact was made over the course of a few years by a small team of around a hundred people that are much more talented than me so you know i got this yeah, I didn't got this, but I did make all these assets, I put them in a scene, made a little level, and then my dumbass said, Wow, it feels too much like a horror game, I don't like it. Hmm, <laughs> I wonder why. So let's just delete that, pretend it never happened, and go back to the drawing board. This whole game is supposed to be sci-fi, not that you knew that or anything because of this steampunk looking ass art style I almost chose, so what's more sci-fi than a space station on the ground on Earth? an earth station w whatever i made a bunch of space station assets which was mildly inspired by this tutorial and as soon as i finished that i finally stopped drinking my stupid juice and i realized that i'm supposed to be making a factory and not the iss so time to scrap this as well which is a very bad look when you also realize it's been more than two weeks and people are starting to ask questions about my game and since i vowed to always tell the community the truth i'm gonna just Bend. Yeah, so everything's going perfectly fine. Just, just, just a little, little bit. So well, I just can't wait to show you pictures of my game, but I can't show you just. I must have had my Flintstones vitamins this morning because I just had an idea to make a fun level first and then worry about the graphics. <laughs> but since fun doesn't actually exist, I tried to take inspiration from something that I know is fun, like Ghost Runner with its fast gameplay, which I'll just copy. Uh, for for legal reasons, um, uh, psych. I'm gonna take inspiration from its level design and throw together a bunch of platforms to jump around on with the muddy, boring Titanfall movement without all the cool Titanfall elements. Yeah, that, that one still really hurts. And if we compare this to Ghost Runner, you can see that it's- uh... Um, how do I say this? Um, dog shit. The main issue is that I can kill enemies from across the room, so I'll just add some spread to the guns to make sure that you never hit a shot again. You can also turn into enemies across the room, which is probably why people speed around my game in the last playtest in 10 seconds. So I'm just gonna limit the switch range, which is my original idea, and definitely not something 16 people have already commented about. And while I was in there, I also fixed the enemy player detection. And now it's a little bit more fun, but the movement still feels like a mix between Titanfall and Q-Op, which... <laughs> Some of you might remember that a long time ago in a galaxy far far away, I made this enemy model which I was somehow very proud of, but it's now threatening my reputation as a 3D artist because it doesn't look like a 3D artist made it, which I totally am. It's time for my favorite hobby, stealing your ideas. So I hopped onto the Discord and I stole the head from, I mean was slightly inspired by this, and I modeled the midsection inspired by exploding party hats, who you should definitely hit up for some cool art. And if you want me to be slightly inspired by your work, feel free to join the Discord. My non-negotiable opinion is that Titanfall 2 is the best FPS game ever. Right behind Omnipresence, which you should definitely wishlist now on Steam. So I sprinkled some inspiration from that in there too. And now it's done, so let's take a little look at this old model, and now the new one. 
You can really tell that my eyes were super glued shut, and I was tied up and gagged with a gun to my head when I made this, because what the f*** is that? Let's do a little experiment. Here's, um, Joe, and we're gonna stretch him until he has the same proportions as the old model. Wait, you don't know who Joe is? <laughs> nah, I wouldn't do you like that. But now that you mention it, he does kinda look like Yo Mama. Now, I'm not known for my animation skills, or really anything at all, so I'm just gonna try use something called inverse kinematics. And you might be asking what that is, and that's a really great question, I'm gonna look at it now. In computer animation and robotics, inverse kinematics is the mathematical process of calculating the variable joint parameters needed to place the end of a kinematic chain such as a robot, manipulator, or animation character skeleton in a given position orientation calculated. <gasps> Basically, it just means when you're walking, you don't think, okay, I'm gonna rotate my knee 45 degrees, then I'm gonna push my hip out 3 inches, and then make my foot parallel to the floor. And if you do, that's pretty cringe, because that means your legs don't know basic algebra. What a loser. I'm not gonna pretend I did all the maths for this, I just downloaded a package, played around with some sliders, and followed a simple tutorial. And I still somehow f***ed it all up. But we need some new arms, because the robots no longer look like <laughs> So I peacefully disassembled a robot and took their arms. I slapped it onto the invisible player bean, and now we have, uh, nothing. They don't do anything. Since my brain is a single-celled organism, animation trees confuse me, so I'm just gonna make the right arm responsible for the gun, and the left arm will run. So I made a running animation for the left arm, which makes me feel super fast, even though I'm going at the same speed as before. It's kind of like when your Lightning McQueen shoes made you feel extra fast as a child. But wait, I, I need something cool in the thumbnail. Anyway, I made this cool animation for turning into a robot, and I took inspiration from the way I, uh, grab stuff in real life. Now the gameplay is getting somewhere. It's, it's fast. It's, um, fast. It's fast for sure. Uh, I definitely need to work on the gameplay. So, time to fix this stupid, dumbass f***ing turret. Oh my god, why does it still not work? Someone please- since I still don't understand the fourth dimension, which I for some reason need to turn this thing, I'm gonna think outside the box and inside the Tesseract, which is what a 4D box is called. <laughs> uh, let's see what ChatGPT has to say about this. Oh! Well, you win again, turret, but I'm not done with you. I've been scrolling Pinterest mindlessly for hours now, and I've set my crosshairs on a new aesthetic. I call it, uh, white. Here's some placeholder assets I made, and it looks like a low-poly sci-fi asset pack you find for $5 on the Unity Assets store, so my job here is very, very far from over. And it really hurts, considering I call myself a 3D artist. I spent some time making a few more changes, and the gameplay is now pretty good. Also, the new map is kind of fun, and doesn't look too bad, which means it's time to do another little playtest, because everyone must be so excited to try out the new and improved Omnipresence. Okay, after a while I got 10 people, and when I watched their gameplay, I realized I never gave anyone the controls, and I didn't even tell them what the objective was. Needless to say, they all loved it. Okay, they did tell me it was more fun than the last time, so I guess it's a win. But what is my friend gonna say? Yo, can you try this? Hell no. I haven't even said what it is yet though. Alright, try and convince me. It's a, it's um, a, a fun game I made. And that sounds horrible. You're trying this or else I'll- And then I'm gonna- Man, what, what should I do? Just try this. Man, how do you play? It doesn't matter, just focus on the game. But, shh, man, these graphics are kind of weird. Shut up. I can't lie with you, why is the gun floating? Focus on the game. Man, the jumping feels so weird. No, it doesn't. Man, there's no enemy variation or nothing. I don't need your criticism, okay? Alright, man, this is why all your games are terrible, man. I have played enough of this Come on, at least tell me that's not good. It's not good. SHUT THE F- So as you can see, he didn't have anything bad to say about the game, and I actually think he really liked it. But I do have a few more things to do, such as perfect the graphics, which I'll just speed through because you already know how it went. I was like, what if I do a Ghost Runner style but more modern, and then it looked trash, so I moved on. Then I was playing Mirror's Edge, and I was like, damn, this looks cool, so I tried to make it more Mirror's Edge-like, so I played around with the balanced lighting, which looks pretty cool, and then I copied this area from the game and got really carried away once again, and I forgot I was supposed to be making a factory, so I ended up making Reception Desk Simulator. Then I accidentally made the most backwards, deep-fried hit detection system, which tells you where you're not being shot from. I'm so good at programming. Then I added some hit markers, made a new map, and decided that I should actually look at a f***ing factory as reference for my factory. Who would have guessed? I made all the assets, and to nobody's surprise, it instantly looked like a factory. And this time, I'm actually pretty proud of how it looks. I took the colorless world of Mirror's Edge, and I added it to a futuristic factory. What's there not to love? 
I'm really happy with how the game is going. Gee, I hope nothing goes wrong. Wait, what's that? Oh, nothing big, just the game engine I'm working on is going up in flames. But I'm sure the CEO is competent and the drama will be sorted out quickly. He got fired from EA because he was too greedy? He- <laughs> This dude was trying to charge people for every reload in Battlefield. I feel like that meme of the dog sitting in the burning house, like, eh, this is fine. But I guess I'll just continue like nothing happened, because I can't do anything. I'll make a map out of cubes and see if it's fun, and then I'll decorate it, and my game is a PowerPoint slideshow. I need to bake some lights now, which I just love, but it shouldn't take too long. I mean, how much is breaking bread? Like, half an hour? ETA 36 hours, what?! So, I'm gonna come back later. I want you to be able to enter something I call switch mode, which basically takes your hand out and highlights enemies nearby. I made this pretty cool animation if I do say so myself, and with all the hand movements, the game is starting to feel really good to play. So naturally, the next thing my dumbass does is permanently delete all of the animation files. So I had to spend the whole next day remaking everything. I then tried adding controller support, which right now is on life support. I also simplified the antivirus to either being on or off, because the game is way too fast for you to look down at your cheat sheet next to you and figure out how long you have left to live. Let's not forget that I did make this whole new enemy model, and all you see is the arms, which is such a shame because I love feet. So I'm just gonna make a slide and a kick animation. Here's a montage of me using them. R wrong clip! Wrong clip! Now the gameplay is pretty much ready, so I'm just gonna decorate the map more. And I don't know how to explain it, but I made my game look like the Overwatch logo. Alright, now it's time to- oh, bake some lights, great. But what I didn't tell you is I went over the whole scene to optimize it, so this shouldn't take too long anymore. 26 hours! But while it baked, I had some much needed time off where I finished college, got married, had three kids, took out a mortgage and retired, and then died 43 years ago. But at least it's done. And I have to say, it looks pretty cool. Smash subscribe if you agree, and if you disagree, you should take your anger out on that stupid, stupid subscribe button. Just hit him right in the face. Now I could spend an extra few weeks polishing the playtest, but AAA games don't seem to bother anymore. I'm just kidding. This is a playtest, so I'm just gonna let it slide. You guys are gonna pick my game apart anyways. We meet again, turret. And I still have no idea what I'm doing, so I'm just gonna make you not be able to turn into them for the playtest. Sorry. Which, you can try by joining the Discord, wishlisting the game, subscribing, and following me on MySpace, LiveLeak, OnlyFans, and Samsung Weather app. And now, for the moment you've all been waiting for, what does my friend think? So, how was it? Well, I'm not gonna lie with you. Nothing has changed. <laughs> 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 <laughs>